Hey everyone, this is the f grade five math test for T and Ready. It's the practice test, really. It's not the actual test. Don't freak out. And uh, we're looking at question number 27. We're in subpart three. You can use a calculator here. I can't imagine in a universe where that would help you, but whatever. So we're going to have a little discussion first about math words. What are the math words for the operations? Not just any math words, the ones for the operations. So I have this, 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 which when you get older will just be a dot, and then divide. So the general math word, and there's plenty of them, but the big one that math teachers like for addition is sum. Not all sum. And then more than is an ad word, whatever. From subtraction, you might see the word difference. That's the special math word that they like in their hearts. They hold it deep, tight, and stroke its hair. They love difference. It's the best. Um, now from there, I was making sure I spelled it correctly because occasionally I kind of go in a universe where that doesn't make sense. The multiply word or times or groups of, that sort of thing, um, that is product. And the final big math word in the heart of all math is quotient, and that's divide. Now, there are a variety of other little subwords under these groups that will mean those things, and if they come up, we'll talk about them. But in general, at this level, these are the ones that warm the hearts of all the math people. So get used to them. So it says, which expression is the correct numerical form of the following statement? And we're going to go left to right unless it says otherwise, write it as you read it. The quotient of 8 and 4 times, oh, they didn't even use the fancy math word for that one, plus the difference of 38 and 15. So the quotient of 8 and 4 times 7, plus the difference of 38 and 15. Now, they've done a little fanciness here. Now, you may know order of operations. You probably heard PEMDAS and all that. Whatever. I use a uh, pyramid to do mine. But we may get to that in another question. Not really necessary here. If you see quotient of and you see the word and in it, that very likely means parentheses. And I use the same symbol to make that and, and that makes no sense. So let's just do that. Quotient of 8 and 4, that's probably parentheses, times 7, that's a nothing, plus the difference of this and this. So if you see a math word and and, it probably means those are the numbers that you use the math word. So the first thing says the quotient of 8 and 4. I told you before, quotient is a divide word. And for some reason, this thing eliminated itself at some point. It happens. So I'm going to say 8 divided by 4, and since the and's there, parentheses. You, they may also say a quantity of, and that also means parentheses. Times 7, I mean, what do you want me to do? It's times 7. And then they have plus, I'm going to put a plus there because I'd like to follow along, the difference of, again, difference of an and, that screams to me that we're going to have another parentheses, 38 and 15. So I'm going to see if any of these match. Uh, the Letter S has 8 divided by 4 times 7 plus 38 minus 15. So the answer to this one is actually S. I didn't even have to go that far. It starts out with quotient. Um, unless you see the word than, which means you have to sometimes flip the order. If it's less 7 less than 25, you do 25 first minus. But there's no than in here, so that's out. So 8 divided by 4 because it's a quotient. That pops up first. It's the only one. This one should be a real quick one for you to get through. But learn your math words, folks. Mathematicians put them in their heart, and they hold on to them. Only people, mathematicians who speak English, by the way, other languages use other words. But um, find those words, hold on to them tight, um, sleep with them under your pillow or something until you get them, and then it'll make your life much easier on these types of questions. And you won't take four minutes to complete them. You'll take about four seconds.